Hey guys, it's me again, Chris Manick. A lot of people took well to the last instructional video where I actually spoke, so here's another one. Only I'm going to be doing more tricks. Um, the trick that I see a lot, of mo a lot of beginners having trouble with is the butterfly. And the reason that they get so confused is because the little leaflet that you get when you get a set of astrojacks tells you to combine the motions for a horizontal and vertical orbit. And that's not what's happening. You're not doing a vertical orbit and then doing this. That's not what happens. Get a vertical orbit going though, however, and go side to side. A lot of people call this the DNA, the UFO, the blah blah blah. It's the butterfly. Um, yeah, it doesn't take much energy. I could even stiffen up my arm and still have it going. You can slow it down or speed it up, but when you speed it up, it come, becomes a little bit less stable and you can't do that much with it. Um, let's see what else. The thriller. Above all, most misunderstood trick of all time. I have no idea why. I can't even remember learning how to do this. I use it so often now. Um, Alright. Starting the thriller. You pinch the string on each side of the ball so that it looks like that. I can't tell where you can see it because I'm close to the camera and I can't see what you see. <laughs> get it like that. Then get one side going and get another side going. Now come closer to the camera so I can show you what I'm really doing with my hand. I'll slow it down. Here. Maybe I'll even slow it on, put it on slow-mo when I get inside and do editing. If you're nice. Hope you can see it. <laughs> Alright. Another trick that I see a lot of people having trouble with is consecutive switch. Oh my god. Alright. So, get a nice, good vertical orbit going. When I'm doing vertical orbits, I tend to keep the ball in between my uh, middle and index or middle and ring finger, like that, so that it's nice, comfortable hold. I don't like it when I see people holding it like this; it looks awkward. And this is a good hold as well. But for consecutive switches, I do the middle and ring finger. The trick is to get a good vertical orbit going and to get it timed right I like to get a beat so go one two three four five six you see what I'm talking about but what I do is simply let go of the red ball and let the blue ball slide right into the place where the red one is eventually this, get a good vertical orbit going again, do this, get a good vertical orbit going again, and you'll be able to do it consecutively. I've gotten up to like 225 myself, but I don't spend all day just doing consecutive switches. Um, let's see, what can I tell you about those that will help you? Don't get frustrated. Above all things in Astrojax, don't get frustrated. Nothing came to me. Well, I won't say that. <laughs> Things don't come to you the first time, usually. It takes practice. Astrojax seems simple, but it's really complex, so you gotta learn what it does. And Kinetics had the most, the greatest idea ever. Um, he talked on the forum a couple uh, days ago, maybe last week, about going, uh, putting a blindfold onto yourself, or going into a dark room, and getting used to the orbits. Like closing your eyes, and getting used to how a vertical orbit feels, keeping it in control. And then getting used to how a horizontal orbit feels. Just getting used to it. That'd be very good because you get used to the things that you have absolute control of. Um, let's see, what else? The Calibri, I think it's called. Alright, it's, and it, it's, it confuses people because of how it's shown on the video on the website. What you do is, is you get this motion going on, you stick your finger out, you let the ball complete its revolutions around your finger. 
then you let this ball come around, and you do that or whatever. It comes back up. The thing that I see people confused is, is they get to this part, and they've got this string wound up around their finger. They're like, okay, what do I do now? It, it just comes off that other guy's finger. Well, what you do is, just get this going, swing this ball, and you just let it go down. Like you point your finger down, and the string just slides right off. Then, once you're done with that, you can start to do tricks like this. Um, let's see. Mini thrillers, or and finger thrillers, as I like to call them. I started doing this a long time ago, and then I came back, and these the kinetics apparently invented it and stuff like that, and it's all good. But it's kind of like you're basically pretending like your finger is a middle ball, and you pinch the string like that, and you get this one going. And you do the same thing with the other one. You get the same kind of motion going on. Once again, I can't get too close because my camera is sitting on a table. Alright, next trick that I just recently invented is called the Mini Fabulous. And basically, it's like a normal Fabulous, only instead of using a middle ball, you're just letting the string wind around itself. Oh, and this is a mini reverse Fabulous, by the way. You're just letting the string wind around itself, and you can basically keep doing it until the string gets too unwound and it won't spin right anymore. Don't worry. No, not. Still good. Um, let's see. I invented a new kind of trick, and if I mess up, it's because I have basically been only been doing it for a day. And I call them split tricks. Basically, you see how I'll do it with the blue and green because I like those colors better. Um, you get the middle ball and the end ball to split by only using a tug and your index finger. So basically, you do that. It's hard to explain, but once you get the idea, it's kind of simple. There you go. I hope you saw that. Because that was really cool. Do it again like this. There we go. There's another trick, I haven't named it yet, and it's really hard, but it's basically got the same thing going on, only, yeah, there we go, I've done it in another trick video before, or not a trick video, um, uh, just, I did it in the Night at the Roxbury joke video, that was cool. Um, let's see, what are the tricks? I got a message from somebody on YouTube about, um, doing a videos for cooler tricks, and stuff like that. And I didn't know what they meant by cool, because all tricks are cool, in my opinion. But, um, that's all I can think of right now, so thank you for watching, and hope you learned something. This is Chris Manick.